أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا بني آدم خذوا زينتكم عند كل مسجد وكلوا واشربوا ولا تسرفوا إنه لا يحب المسرفين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي Today in the 31st ayah of Surah Al-A'raf From it I want to share with you The balance between people that are associated with the masjid And people that are That live a good life outside You know in many cultures in the world today There's a There's a real polarization happening And people assume that the Kinds of people that go to the masjid regularly like you guys are hopefully in this month of Ramadan but you know throughout the year people that just frequent the masjid these are people that are very religious they don't really have much of much aspirations in worldly life they're not really going to live well in worldly life and if you want to have a balanced life this word balance is misused a lot if you want to be balanced then just you know go to the masjid maybe on Friday and other than that you don't have to really pay attention to this place in this beautiful ayah Allah addressed all children of Adam and the word masjid before I go into this you know I keep Saying masjid and probably the, the image that comes in your mind is a building, right? A building dedicated for the worship of Allah where we go and pray. But actually masjid in Arabic is in ism dharf. What that means in simple language is not just a place where you do sajda, a place where you put your head down before Allah, meaning the mosque, but also any time. Masjid is also a, a reference not just to a place but also a time. So when we hear the word masjid in the Arabic language, actually it also even refers to the time of prayer, not just the place of prayer, subhanAllah. Now, Allah says, Ya Bani Adam, children of Adam, khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid. Hold on, and this is, I'll translate literal, literally first, hold on to your beautification at every time of prayer and every place of prayer. Now what that means is, look good, dress yourself up properly, and also be at your best behavior. Display the most beautiful part of yourself when you come at any masjid or you come before Allah to pray. When you go meet someone important, you get dressed up. You, when you go have an appointment, you get dressed up. There's a formal occasion. When you're going to meet somebody, then that's how you are. And if so, you meet somebody who's not that important, then you just go as you are. Or they can come over and you don't even say, hold on a second, let me get dressed properly. You don't care. You just let them in. But with Allah, Azza wa you're going to meet Him at every prayer. So dress nicely. Dress up, dress yourself up, you know. Dress appropriately to the occasion, but also even going to the masjid, bring your best self. Now, this, in this ayah, there's a bit of advice that our masajid are supposed to be places where people act their best. What a lesson. But then, I would think the ayah, is, it's enough of a lesson, you know. Beautify yourself physically and emotionally and, you know, uh, uh, psychologically also when you're going to go to the house of Allah or to go to pray. But in addition, in the same ayah, Allah says, وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا, لا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ Eat and drink and don't go overboard. In other words, live your life. Dress nicely to go to the masjid, but then you have the rest of your life to deal with too. Just because you go to the masjid, don't get the impression that some people try to give that just because you go often to the house of Allah, that that means somehow you're missing out on worldly life. That it has not, you're, you, you could have been doing other things or you're imbalanced in your life. Allah says, Make sure you give the masjid its due, but also make sure you give yourself your due. Eat and drink. Just don't go overboard. وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ In this ayah, there's also a beautiful indication that people who go to the masjid for the right reasons and apply this ayah, they find balance in life. So in the, in the things that they consume, the things that they eat and drink, they learn to develop you know, the, the habit of not going overboard. When they eat, they don't eat too much. When they drink, they don't drink too much. You know, when they purchase, when they buy, you know, when they go, go do shopping, they don't shop overboard. They don't spend more than they can afford, for instance. So this is وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ أَوْ إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ I pray that Allah Azza wa Jal grants us this ability to find balance in all the things that we do and are, we're able to balance our religious life and our spiritual life and at the same time our worldly life in light of these beautiful ayat that teach this balance. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum everyone. If you benefited from these reminders, please support Quran Weekly by clicking the link below.